Hello everyone, welcome to the 8th episode of Blitz Brigade where we will be covering up Algebra Part 2 and uh, the rules and the regulations of watching this video remains the same. First of all, the question is on your screen. Take a screenshot and try to solve it uh, on your own and if you are not able to do that, no worries. I will share the logic with you but the mandatory part is that you need to keep a pen and paper next to you so that whatever logic I am giving you and equations I am giving you, you will solve it on your own and get the answer. All right, and those who have already solved it, well, let's get started with the question and see if you guys would be able to, you know, if you are seeing the same answer or not. Also, I would be starting off with another concept right after this question, which is of IOTA. I don't know how many of you are aware of this, but it is a negative under root uh, concept. So we will take that as well. Just to keep your mind fresh of it, question So let's get started with the first question now here the question says that the combined railway fare of a journey undertaken by a family of four members in a three tire coach and a family of three members in a two tire coach is given to you so aap samajh sakte ho ki hamare paas do simultaneous equations yahan ban rahe hain we are getting two simultaneous equations if we are considering that um, uh, the fare of one ticket let us start doing some assumptions over here so let us start assuming that the fare of one ticket in a three tire coach would be rupees x and for a two tire coach will be rupees y so agar ek ticket ki dam x hai in a three tire coach and y hai in a two tire coach then for the first family which is traveling i have my set of equations with me so for the first family how many members are traveling there are four members who are traveling 4x okay and the second family is having three members in the coach of in the uh, second tire coach so therefore it will be 3y so I have the value of 4x and 3y. Now the very first equation says that the total cost is 5100. Now when I say 5100, I have my first equation which is 4x plus 5y is equals to 5100. All right. And if I read the rest part of the question, I'll get better picture that the total fare would have been 300 rupees more if the first family had one less member while the second family had one more member. So, 1x kam kar dena hai 4x se aur 1y badha dena hai 3y pe. And if that happens, then the second scenario would be that I am getting 3x plus the next part would be 4y that is just... Uh, like you know added it up so not 4y because this was 3y so this becomes 4y so 3x plus 4y is now equals to 300 rupees more than this value so 5100 5, plus 300 is equals to 5400 now this is my simultaneous equation right now and i want all of you who is watching this solution to understand how to approach this question to solve this simultaneous equation on your own you have to solve it on your own guys please don't skip this part because if you skip this part you would not be able to benefit out of this video and mera purpose aapko aapke liye sirf video banana nahi hai us video se aapko benefit karwana hai so if i'm ultimately not able to do that there will be no point of you know going around so let's try to get rid of x okay so agar aapko x se get rid karna hai to you will cross multiply because 4 and 3 are co prime so you will multiply this equation by 3 and multiply this equation by 4 then you will subtract the equations and then uh, if you do this subtraction i hope you will do this okay as i said this is your part to do you will get the value of y is equals to 900 y kis ki value thi y value thi two tire ki ek ticket ki so we already got the value of y if we put the value of y in uh, any of the equ equations we'll get the value of x also but hamesha is baat ka dhyan rakhe that you are in an examination where you don't have to just solve the question but also save time for yourself so read the last line of the question that is asking you the fare of a couple in a two tire coach couple means two people and two tire coach means y so you will just multiply this with two and get the answer as 1800 which is option b over here 
फाइन नाउ इस बात को मैंने इतना ज्यादा स्ट्रेस इसीलिए दिया बिकॉज मेनी पीपल विल स्टार्ट एलिमिनेटिंग वाई फर्स्ट गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स फिर एक्स से वाई निकालेंगे सो दर इज एन अननेसेसरी टू थ्री स्टेप्स एक्स्ट्रा विच विल अकाउंट फॉर अराउंड अनादर फोर्टी फाइव टू वन मिनट फोर्टी फाइव सेकेंड्स टू वन मिनट सो दे फोर टू अवॉइड दीज थिंग्स प्लीज रीड द क्वेश्चन एंड बी वेरी स्पेसिफिक एज टू हाउ कैन यू सेव अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम इन दीज टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन अदरवाइज दीज क्वेश्चन आर रियली सिंपल इज इंट इट ओके लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ आयोटा नाउ सो इन दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ आयोटा वी नो दैट हाउ डू वी कम अक्रॉस दीज टर्म्स एनी नंबर रेस टू द पावर जीरो इज इक्वल्स टू वन दिस इज समथिंग वी ऑलरेडी नो बट वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आई वेर इज दिस आई कमिंग फ्रॉम सो दिस आई इज बेसिकली कमिंग फ्रॉम द कॉन्सेप्ट of minus 1 under root so whenever you have a negative number raised to the power of 1 by 2 that is finding out the square root of a negative number you get one component separated which is let's say minus 1 under root 4 uh, under root and that is called as iota okay that's the full form and you denote it with a i so iota ka concept kyu important hai kyunki kai baar aapko equations mein and questions mein iota ka direct reference milega so to you know keep that in control you should at least know how it moves so just like the power of 2 moves the power of iota also moves in a cycle if you observe carefully i to the power 0 is 1 i to the power 1 is i itself so i'll just write it down okay i to the power 1 is i itself i to the power 2 will become the square of this number and if i square the negative 1 then i will just get a negative 1 right so i to the power 2 is minus 1 now when i talk about i to the power 3 finding that out is really simple because we will separate i to the power 2 and i to the power 1 the way we have separated over here and i to the power 2 is minus 1 which we already know so if minus 1 is multiplied with i only i to the power 3 will give you a i and i to the power 4 will be actually i to the power 2 whole square and i know i to the power 2 is minus 1 aur agar main minus 1 ka whole square kar do then i will be getting a plus 1 so that is how i see four different values of i and the moment i go to i to the power 5 it can be calculated by multiplying i to the power 4 into i i to the power 4 was 1 only so 1 multiplied with i will again give you back i so if you see there is a cycle which we maintain all over again this is a cyclicity of 4 and cyclicity of 4 mein hum bol sakte hain ki every power of i which is a factor of 4 or multiple of 4 rather i should say will be equals to 1 ye concept hame question solve karne mein kaise help karega let's have a quick look over a question when simplified the value of i to the power 57 plus 1 by i to the power 25 what is the number which we are expecting to get so please understand 1 to the power 57 ko aap break karke likh sakte ho as 1 to the power 56 into i what is the purpose behind breaking it into 56 and i because 56 is a multiple of 4 if you guys can calculate and check it 56 is a multiple of 4 and therefore any multiple of 4 will actually eventually give me back a 1 only so this is equals to 1 into i and that will bring back i only in the picture so i to the power 57 is equals to i similarly agar main i to the power 25 solve karna chahu to i can again write it as i to the power 24 into i the reason being that is 24 is a multiple of 4 so it will give me a 1 and 1 into i will again give me a i now i have to just put it in the equation as given over here that means i will write i plus 1 by i now i plus 1 by i try and understand what is happening you are actually keeping the values next to each other ab dekho if i want to go for a shortcut i can write 1 by i is i to the power minus 1 and if you know the value of i to the power minus 1 ab directly isko cancel out kar doge that is equals to i only but what we can do here is we can simplify it we know that i is equals to what i 1 is equals to what i square to so, main is jagah par 1 ki jagah par i can write i square and divided by i if i do so what will i be getting here i'll be getting only i right so in this case what will happen or what will be the solution of this question we will see that this will be leaving me with a i this will be leaving me with a i and therefore both of this will add up with a 2i so remember that you have to convert the value of 
1 into i square so that you can cancel i square by i keep only i and when you add a i with i you get 2i so that's how the answer becomes b 2i okay moving next to the third question please try it on your own guys and if you have already done that then let's get started or just jump over to the next part of the video we are talking about a i to the power 3 different or 4 different powers and their value is given as n. So generally when any kind of a variable is added to a question, people are very apprehensive towards it. So please remove this apprehension and start putting down the values as your own not natural positive integers. So sabse pehla positive integers that mere dimag mein aata hai, that is none other than 1. So why can't I write it in the form of i to the power 1 plus i to the power 2 plus i to the power 3 plus i to the power 4. You know there's a cyclicity being maintained. This value is i. This value is minus 1. This value is again back to minus i and this value is back to plus 1. So, ye ye cancel kar dega, ye ye cancel kar dega and you are ultimately left with a 0. So, it was a very simple question. No matter you put any uh, positive integer, since you are keeping a consecutive pair over here, the answer of the 4 consecutive values would be 0 only. Okay. Okay. Let's move forward to the next one, which is question number 4. The predominantly the last one for the day today. Okay. So, let's start. What we are going to do here is we are going to take the values but the even powers. Even powers and that will continue up to 2n plus 1. Now this question will be difficult for only those folks who don't know the meaning of 2n plus 1. So ye aapko specifically na kisi book mein ya class mein nahi karaya jayega. You have to learn it in the process of doing the questions that 2n plus 1 is actually referring to the odd terms. So when it, ref when it refers to the odd terms it means either you keep only one value or you keep three values or you keep five values so let us take an example of i square if i keep i square what is the value of i square i get the value of i square i get is minus one correct similarly agar main teen value leti hu, i'll take three values as given in the question then i square is equals to minus one i to the power four is equals to plus one and i to the power six will again be equals to minus one so i see this becomes a zero and we are again left with a minus one so every time we are taking odd number of terms jaise ki one three five and seven we will see that every time my answer will stop at minus one only okay because we are beginning it with minus one and therefore with this conclusion we can directly go and strike the answer as minus one what is the purpose behind giving this question the purpose behind giving this question is you do get these type of direct questions in the cat and that examinations and omits me to bhar bhar ke aata hai ye questions so when you get this question if you are not aware of the concept you might lag behind but if you know this it can save a hell lot of time for you up literally bus 20 to 30 second mein is question ko solve karke zyada se zyada time dusre lengthy questions pe devote kar sakte ho so if you found this video useful guys you know the drill you have to comment below and let me know how was the video also uh, please like this video and if you are new to the channel then do hit the subscribe button as well it is absolutely free this channel has all the content for you guys absolutely free so make sure you share it with more and more people and at least crack that ki subscribers bada ho yaar. I have a good news for you people and uh, I want to share that with you but wo mein tabhi karungi when you guys will nicely share the channel okay so Please share the channel, like the video and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care. If you have any questions, any doubts, any queries, please feel free to drop it below in the comment section or follow me on Instagram and DM me over there if you have any you know, personal queries which you don't want to share on the comment section. Thank you so much guys. Take care and see you in the next video.